I want universal coverage. I want everyone in Massachusetts and in this country to have insurance. So now we're saying, everybody come on in. Everybody in? Nobody out. Universal health care plan. That's what I'd like to see. We're also going to make sure people can't be denied on the basis of pre-existing illness. It will be against the law for insurance companies to deny you coverage because of a pre-existing condition. For those people who are low income and can't afford insurance, we need to make sure that all people, not just corporations, can deduct on a tax basis the cost of their premiums. Now, for those individuals and small businesses who still can't afford the lower priced insurance available in the exchange, we'll provide tax credits. And individuals will be required to carry basic health insurance, just as most states require you to carry auto insurance. And if you don't want to buy insurance, then you have to help pay for the cost of the state picking up your bill because under federal law, if someone doesn't have insurance, then we have to care for them in the hospitals, give them free care. So we said no more. No more free riders. And you can't be a free rider on everybody else. You can't not have health insurance, then go to the emergency room. And, you know, we took that on in Massachusetts. We, uh, we decided we wanted to get everybody insured. We've done that. I understand that the president considers his plan in some respects uh, uh, following the model of Massachusetts. Let's learn from our experience. Uh, in fact, uh, I agree with uh, Mitt Romney, who recently said he's proud of what he accomplished on health care. I support background checks to, to, for people who are uh, going into a store or whatever and buying a weapon. I want them to have a background check to make but sure... But you stand by your support sure, of the Brady Bill. ...to make sure that the, that the, that the uh, crazies don't buy guns. Because we can make certain that those uh, who are mentally uh, deranged are not getting hold of handguns. Law-abiding private United States citizens. Law-abiding gun owners all across America. That this administration has systematically imposed the toughest sanctions on Iraq, uh, on Iran ever. We're going to put a lot tougher sanctions on Iran, economic sanctions, credit sanctions. And applying the toughest sanctions that Iran's ever experienced. Put, put in place crippling sanctions against Iran. Uh, the one thing I can say with certainty is that we are going to need to see a stimulus uh, package pass. He's talking about a $700, $750 billion economic stimulus package. Uh, he wants it to be passed uh, as soon as possible. What do you think about this proposal? Uh, I think there is need for economic stimulus, and, uh, and government can help make that up in a, in a very difficult time, and that's one of the reasons why I think a stimulus program is needed. And I think it was the right uh, action to take. I know, I know a lot of my fellow conservatives aren't happy with me that I, uh, I supported the, the plan. I don't call it a bailout. I call it a rescue plan. The Troubled Asset Relief Program, or TARP. And that was an investment made to try and keep a collapse of our entire financial system from occurring. And, and I think that's the case. I think had Ben Bernanke not pushed for a, a TARP type program, we were going to be in a free fall. The TARP program kept that from occurring. So you feel it was well worth it? Well, it was the right thing to do. Okay. These targeted initiatives are right and they are needed. TARP was the right thing to do. The president ultimately did what I suggested. The president ultimately did what I suggested. Uh, president Obama's jobs bill, he wants to create jobs in part by investing lots of money in infrastructure development. Are you with him on that? Well, infrastructure enhancement in this country is a positive way to long-term improve the job prospects in America. We must engage contractors across the nation to create jobs rebuilding our crumbling roads, bridges. And uh, we have thousands and thousands of structurally deficient bridges. We have roads that are in terrible disrepair. I'm in favor of the line of the veto. I exercised it 844 times. Thank heavens we have the line of the veto, and I'd like to see it at the federal government level as well. We need it. President Obama says that he has a plan to control government spending, though. It is his version of a line item veto, and the plan would allow a president to strike individual items from the bill, send it back to Congress to get an up or down vote on that. That is why I urge the prompt and favorable consideration of this proposal and look forward to working with the Congress on this matter in the coming weeks. Signed, Barack Obama, the White House. 
What kind of job is Ben Bernanke doing right now? The guy's depreciating the dollar. We're seeing this huge inflation of energy prices, including gasoline prices at the pump. What do you think of Ben Bernanke? Well, you know, I think Ben Bernanke is a, a, a student of, of monetary policy. Yeah, but the falling dollar is absolutely crucial no, to no. many of the things that ail us. You know, the consumer price index is no, jumping. No People question are furious no at the rise in gasoline. No question it's not all Bernanke, you, but you a see, lot of it's Bernanke. You're, you're saying an should the chairman of the Federal Reserve be appointed again? Uh, you know, I think he's doing a good job. You do? Yes, I do. He's a, a, a pretty skilled expert at dealing with uh, recessions and depressions and studying how you avoid depressions. As an expert on the causes of the Great Depression. And he's done a pretty effective job keeping us from having a total financial meltdown. I'm sure Ben never imagined that he would be part of a team responsible for preventing another. Do you think he should be reappointed? I do. And that is why I am reappointing him to another term as chairman of the Federal Reserve. And, and I think it's, uh, it's important to have the Fed as an independent agency. I don't think it's good policy for the president or a president-elect to second-guess the Fed, which is an independent body. The National Defense Authorization Act. Announcing a radical new claim of presidential power that is not afforded by the Constitution and that has never been attempted in American history. It gives the military the power to indefinitely detain American citizens. Suspected. Just suspected, not convicted. President Obama, uh, on New Year's Eve, signed uh, the National Defense Authorization Act. Gee, I wonder why he did it then. Obviously taking a lot of heat for it. Yeah, it seems to me the Fourth Amendment in this case has really just been thrown out the window. Governor Romney, as president, would you have signed the National Defense Act as written? Yes, I would have, and I do believe that it's appropriate. Well, could you please explain to me why you voted to reauthorize the Patriot Act, which is the worst attack on civil rights of Americans? It's not actually true that the Patriot Act was the worst. Most of the problems that we have had in civil liberties, they were done through executive order by George W. Bush. That's actually how the worst abuses have occurred. That's what happened with Guantanamo. That's what happened with uh, the warrantless wiretaps. That's what's happened with the suspension of habeas corpus. And I will reverse them with a stroke of a pen. And Governor Romney, I'll start with you. You have said that the government should wiretap some mosques to keep tabs on uh, Islamic extremists. And make sure that if they're doing that in a mosque, in a school, at a playground, wherever it's being done, we know what's going on. We need to know about that, track them, follow them, and make sure that in every way we can, we know what they're doing and where they're doing it. And if it means we have to go into a mosque, to wiretap, or a church, then that's exactly where we're going to go. And I hear from time to time people say, hey, wait a second, we have civil liberties we have to worry about. President-elect Obama's pick for Treasury Secretary, Timothy Geithner. Governor, do you have second thoughts, even if it, what are your first thoughts about Geithner? Is he the right guy? Is he still the right guy? Well, you know, when I heard about his announcement, I must admit that I was pleased. Uh, he's a person of accomplishment uh, and skill. Uh, I think he's a very bright uh, individual. Tim Geithner is as sharp and as skilled uh, a public servant as we have. What's your position on extending this payroll tax cut? Well, I, I, I would like to see the payroll tax cut extended. Extending the payroll tax cut that is an idea that I proposed in September as part of the American Jobs Act. And so my view is pursue a strategy which gets us into energy independent. That's my highest priority. And my focus as it comes to this topic is to get us off of our dependence on foreign oil. To put people back to work today and reduce our dependence on foreign oil tomorrow. To use our natural gas to drill for our oil. A strategy that relies on producing more oil and gas here in America. To use our coal, clean coal. But also producing more biofuels in America, more fuel efficient cars in America. To use solar and wind and efficiency measures, that's my priority. More wind power in America and more solar power in America. Mitt Romney is obviously the choice of the Republican establishment. Those are the folks who brought us TARP and stimulus, wars fought on credit cards, federal agents writing their own search warrants, and the federal government taking over education. 
Mitt Romney believes in all these things. But here's the crusher. So does President Obama. There's not a dime's worth of difference between them. Name the topic on which the president has a real say and they agree. Can the government mandate health care? Yes, from both. Should income taxes stay where they are on those who pay the most? Yes, from both. Can the president start a war on his own without a declaration of war from the Congress? Yes, from both. Can the president kill any American he wants? Incredibly, yes, from both. Oh, there is some difference in tone. One of them likes labor unions, and the other one likes big business. But both love big government.